Hey y'all, it's uh, been a while. I've been reminded repeatedly. So what we're going to do this evening is uh, show how to ship a build. Now this can pertain also to shipping a body with various parts. Uh, this is the best way that I know how to do it and have been doing it for quite some time. Um, I only had three mishaps and that was because they dropped the car after they took it out of the box. So, the very first thing, and I will caution you about this, don't wrap it too tight. You don't have to wrap it real tight. What you want to do is you want to form a cushion. Just roll it. This will keep all your pieces in place, but it will not, if you pull it too tight, you're going to knock pieces off. And don't be stingy about this because you want to protect this as best as you can for your customer. All right. So you got that there. Now what you want to do is you want to cushion this too. And like I said, don't be stingy with your paper. The last thing you want to do is have a build arrive to a customer's house or your buddy's house and have it being all screwed up. Now, set it down inside your box. Now you can also, and I don't have any right here, but you can also wrap this up with bubble wrap. Uh, once you get the bubble wrap wrapped around it, you still got a little bit of play on the sides. Simply take some peanuts, Don't do this with static electricity going on either because they stick to your hands. Ask me how I know. Okay, so now your model's in there, it's protected. Now another thing you can do just to be on the safe side, and I usually do this especially when I'm shipping just a body or a bot and the parts. Each individual part such as, let's say, these frame parts okay every one of them is wrapped with tissue and then I place them in the plastic bag leave it open make sure you get the air out gently fold it over once everything's in there and then pull the bag seal it shut do the same thing that we just did with the body now you want to make a cushion now there's several different ways of doing this uh, you can use a piece of foam rubber. You put that down inside here. It acts as a cushion. And that's the whole idea of it. You want, every, you want this all to act like a shock absorber. Okay? So you got that there. Now, take the box. You set it in. Slide it in on either side. I'll get it for you, Jake. You don't have to move. The box is now locked in. Now, little airbags. Fill it in on the side. Once again, now you can also put a piece of foam over top of this. It's really not necessary. Make sure that that little devil doesn't get a hold of one. Ten week old pup, sorry about that.
Alright, so now everything's protected. Actually, it's almost triple wall protected. You don't have to worry about it. Get clear uh, packing tape. Tape this shut. And I suggest getting a sheet of computer paper. Write it in large letters, both the address it's being sent to and naturally your return address. Lay it on across the top and then tape it over. Make sure all your edges and everything are taped shut. But this way, this thing, and market fragile, but this thing can get tossed around as much as what it might be and still survive the trip and in, uh, in intact. Now, this is one thing for the individuals that are receiving such. Occasionally, you will get a part knocked off. And you can't really hold the guy that sold it to you liable. So, you got to be fair about that. And you got to, you know, if you have to glue a piece or two on, whether it be a mirror or a wheel or something else like that. But if you pack like this, you do not generally have to worry about anything it will arrive safe and sound, believe me. But I realize it might seem to be a little bit redundant, but this way, a box this size, it's manageable for anybody and everybody. And also it's a box within a box, plus all the, the foam and everything and the peanuts that go with it. it. Can be turned upside down, that car's not gonna move inside the box, nor is the box that contains the car gonna move around in this. So, other than that, What's been going on? Well, we finished the 32 Ford for the Patreon channel. I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. So that makes three for the Patreon channel this year. Um, it's slowly growing. Uh, three guys here, two guys here, two guys there. Um, hope that it continues to grow. Uh, the DVDs continue to sell. And uh, we're having a good time while we're doing it. So, happy Thanksgiving to y'all. And I uh, hope you enjoy your time spent with your family. So this is the old man from Lomo Custom Painting. I hope this helps out a little bit. It's just a little how-to, but it'll go a long way to protecting your model car when you ship it. Alright, God bless. Have a great week. It's the old man. I'm out.